Hi everybody, this is Jennifer. Um, I just wanted to check in again. Um, I'm doing better. Not, like, anywhere near even, like, 100%. I wouldn't even say I'm 50%. Um, I went to the doctors, put me on the Augmentin, which I told you. That made me so nauseous and like my joints hurt so bad so I went to the doctors or back to the doctors and then he put me on doxy something I don't know and that made me throw up so where I'm at right now is I'm not taking any more goddamn antibiotics they just made me worse I had reactions to it I guess. I don't know. Um, so we're trying to natural sinus relief until I can get into the sinus specialist. Because we got to figure out what the hell's going on with me. I'm dying, or at least that's what it feels like to me. Um, today's been the first day I've actually been out of bed. I mean, I did lay down and take a nap but I didn't spend the whole day in bed and it's been like two weeks since then um, so that's that I mean I'm working on a pocket letter which was nice I haven't made a pocket letter in forever I haven't done anything really in forever or at least it seems like forever to me um, but I don't know if it's just because I'm sick, but people are pissing me off. Like, I mean, really pissing me off, these videos. Let's get this straight. Shipping hasn't gone the fuck up. It hasn't. I send stuff out all the time. It has not gone up. The amount of stuff being put into the envelopes has gone up. Okay? That's it. Let's stop bitching about the price of shipping because the shipping hasn't gone up. Period. Now, I don't understand why anybody is spending $10 or $8 or whatever to send out swaps because there's these priority mail envelopes which hold quite a bit because I can, I put eight pocket letter inserts plus all the goodies from everybody in one of these and the extra gift I included for my pocket letter ex insert exchange and it only costs $6.65 there's no reason to be spending more than $6.65 there's plenty of room in these and if you ha can't fit it in this. You can fit it in the 720 envelope. Padded envelope, so much fits in there. There is no reason to be spending more than 665 period. So, I don't know what the fuck all this bitching is all about. I've about heard enough of it. Shipping hasn't gone up. Y'all just need to stop complaining. Stop hosting all these fucking um, swaps. I mean, you do it every month. Every month you guys got a swap going on and you're complaining every month about it. It ain't gone up. Jesus. Okay. You know, and then the other thing is when the host is putting all this extra shit in there, why are we having to pay to have it sent back? That doesn't make sense to me. Because when I do a uh, swap and I include extras, like extra extras, I pay for that because I put the additional weight in there. Yep, I did it. I'm going to pay for it. That's how it is. I didn't ask you to put a whole bunch of extra shit in there. Not at all. And if it is the women that are sending in the swaps, tell them. Let's stop trying to outdo one another and just have a simple swap where we send the glitter, the 
mix in the nail art. There's no need for all this extra presentation. It's not. It's not needed. That's a crafting one. Okay? So I'm done. I think I'm done. Probably not, though, because I got a whole list here. And, um... <coughs> Let's talk about when you do a personal swap. Please be specific about what you want in return. Because I did a pocket letter swap and I got no craft items back. Now I'm thinking I'm doing a craft swap, you know, whether it be a flip book, a pocket letter, a loaded envelope, you, you would figure you would get craft items back. But you did. I mean, would you be happy if I did a swap with you and I sent you a whole bunch of cleaning supplies? That's, an, I mean, if I sent you the $20 that we agreed on and I sent it in cleaning supplies, you know what I'm saying? Be specific so you're not pissed off because I was quite pissed off. So, um... You know, just be clear about what your expectations are. Um, what about these people that are asking for a wish item or are doing swaps and then selling this stuff? I mean, how does this make you feel that they asked for glitter and nail art and all that crap, and then they turn around and they sell that shit on you? I mean, are they doing this just to make money? I, I kind of am getting um, offended by it. That's my personal thoughts. And what I've been told is my personal thoughts are other people's personal thoughts. Just I'm the one who says it. So, um, another thing that's really, really bugging me, sorry, I keep on running out of breath, friend mail swaps, there isn't a thing. Friend mail is when you send somebody something just because. A friend mail swap is a personal swap, okay? It's not friend mail. Friend mail and racks are when you do something for somebody just because. No expectations to get anything back whatsoever. That's how it is. If you want to do a personal swap, call it what it really is, a personal swap. It's not friend mail. Friend mail, I mean, yes, we all want to get friend mail, but you know what? There's a difference. Let's just start calling things what they really are. Um, oh yeah, another thing about these swaps, why is it, like, if I did a swap, and I said you need to have one mix, one glitter or spangles, and then one nail art. And everybody had to send that in to me. Why is it some of these people that host these swaps feel it's not in their requirement to fulfill everything too? I mean, you get pissed because people aren't following your requirements but yet you don't do exactly what you wish for okay just getting some stuff off my chest I told you I'm bitchy when I'm sick there's another thing this is not a bitch this is actually a question now you know how I do random cat racks racks random acts of kindness, or whatever, friend mail. Um, 
would you rather have one nice item from me? You know, like, I don't have anything right here. I mean, I probably do, because I got a whole table full of crap. But, you know, one nice item, say we have a $10 limit. Would you rather have one nice $10 item or 10 $1 items? You know, I mean, for me, I would rather have the nice item than a whole bunch of little crap. Sometimes, yeah, the crap's nice, but, you know, whatever, whatever. Just let me know what you think, because I'm just... <coughs> um, I'm trying to get caught up, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to fulfill everything that... I said I was going to because of being in bed for so long. Um, if I can't do it, I'm truly sorry. But, you know, I'm not lying about this. I have been in bed for two weeks. Like, I just couldn't even do anything but get out of bed to go to the bathroom most of the time. Just complete exhaustion. So I'm sorry if I missed something, if I didn't get it in on time. I truly am sorry. I didn't do this on purpose. I would really not like to be sick. I would love to be at least normal again. So if I don't do it. I didn't do it on purpose. Okay. I don't know. I guess I'm done. Um. I have a few of you ladies, the winners. Two of you have gotten your stuff already. Another one, I worked on it today and I got it almost all done. Um, and then the three pocket letter winners. I'm working on yours right now. They're being personalized. That's part of the reason. I mean, besides me being sick, that's why it's taking so long. Everybody's has been personalized. So, um, yeah. I, I'm not flaking. I'm so not flaking on you. Um, you'll get them. Probably within a week or two. No later. Or at least I hope not. You know, I'm not going to guarantee that. But, yeah. Um, you know, food for thought. I'm going to probably have some angry people at me. But, you know, nothing new. Doesn't break my heart. People are always angry at me. Truth hurts sometimes. So, I hope y'all are having a good night. Oh, that's the other thing. Yahoo, my um, email, it doesn't let me know when I have messages anymore. So, if you send a message, I, I might get it, I might not. I mean, I, I don't know how many I'm not getting. But, you know, when I go in there and see I got a message, I'll get to you. But i am not been, like, going out of my way to check it either. So, yeah. Have a good night. I will talk to y'all later. Bye.